Hallelujah, hallelujah, but all over the globe, all over the continent. It's your servant, Reverend Eric Amanko, bringing on to you a moment of prayer and truth. Beloved, the passage is Psalm 5, verse 12. And the theme is favor as a weapon. Today is Tuesday, August 13, 2024. Beloved, shall we pray? Oh God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation, O God, of my heart and all our hearts, those hearing the sound of my voice, and God, your voice as well. O oh God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Beloved, in the name of the Lord, in the book of Psalms, we find a profound declaration of this truth. Psalm 5 verse 12 states, For you bless the righteous, O Lord, you cover him with favor as with a shield. Beloved, in the name of the Lord, you can bear with me that the psalmist David portrays God's favor not as a mere blessing, but as a protective shield, a defensive weapon that surrounds and guards the righteous. This imagery invites us to reconsider how we view God's favor in our lives. Beloved, first, let's understand what favor means in this context. God's favor is his unmerited kindness. Approval towards us. It's not something we earn, but rather a gift bestowed upon us through his grace. Beloved, how can this favor function as a weapon? Number one is protection. Just as the psalm describes, God's favor acts as a shield. It protects us from the attacks of the enemy, whether they be spiritual, emotional, or circumstantial. When we walk in God's favor, we have a divine defense against the schemes of the adversary. Number two is advancement. God's favor can open doors that no human effort can. It can propel us into positions and opportunities that confound our opponents. In this way, favor becomes an offensive weapon, advancing God's purposes through our lives. Number three is influence. Beloved, when we, when, when, when we carry God's favor, it affects how others perceive and interact with us. This can disarm potential conflicts and turn enemies into allies, much like a secret weapon in diplomatic relations. Beloved, number four is confidence. Knowing we have God's favor, empowers us to stand firm in the face of opposition. This unshakable confidence becomes a weapon against fear and doubt. Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, the number five is testimony. Our lives, marked by God's evident favor, become a powerful testimony. This can be a weapon that breaks down barriers and draws others to the truth of the gospel. Beloved, hearing the sound of my voice, it's, it's relevant to remember that this favor is not for our own glory, but for God's purposes. We are called to steward it wisely, using it for personal gain, but for the advancement of God's kingdom. As we go forth, let's recognize the power of God's favor in our lives. Let's weld it responsibly, always remembering that it's not by our might or power, but by God's Spirit that we overcome. Beloved, I pray for somebody. May the favor of God this week, may the favor of God this month, may the favor of God locate you wherever you find yourself. May God's favor, the favor that surpasses any other thing, locate you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, I pray that may the favor of God locate your children. Beloved, may the favor of God be the portion of your children. Beloved, at your workplace, may you be favored. Beloved, when you are favored, there is approval. When you are favored, there is a stamp of approval upon your life. Beloved, as I pray for you, and as you also pray with me, 
May you receive God's favor, which is his approval upon your life. May you receive the favor of God wherever you find yourself. Beloved, I pray for somebody, those who are sick, may the good Lord, through his favor, heal you of every disease. I pray for somebody, I pray for somebody. You've been experiencing pains all over your jaw. You've been experiencing pains all over your jaw, the jaw, and then it is a kind of lowering up to your heart. I pray that may you be healed. May you be healed of every attack. Now begin to do what you couldn't do to the glory of God. Beloved, you are healed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for your abundant favor that you bestowed upon us. Lord, help us to recognize it as the power weapon. It is a shield of protection, a key for advancement, a tool for influence, a source of confidence, and a powerful testimony. Oh God, may we never take your favor for granted, but steward it wisely for your glory. When we face opposition, remind us that your favor surrounds us like a shield. Give us the wisdom to wield these weapons effectively in the spiritual battles we face. May our lives marked by your favor draw others to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. I mean, beloved, you will hear the same time the sound of my voice tomorrow by this time. Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem. Bye-bye.